everybody so number one i finally got a tripod so you can finally see me as i'm doing things number two please excuse my appearance my nails just popped off not too long ago my hair needs to come out but i'm not taking it out till i get my hair done again this um corona shutdown is getting to me at this point it's really getting to me number one i'm bored but number two look at me I'm not on fleek at all. But that that's another story for a different day. Whatever. It is early. I'm actually going to cook. I was going to have breakfast, but I decided I'm so excited to try this recipe out that I'm going to start now. It takes about 40 minutes, but I'm going to prep my stuff. Definitely um, rewash my cans and everything. Get my kitchen set up to cook and record and yeah so today i'm gonna be making what is it called hold on let back me and it's actually it's called tamale pie right i saw this First, trend it thing. says you need a box of jiffy so i have my box of jiffy please excuse my nails like i said they just popped off like maybe 30 minutes before this video so bear with me we all look a mess together so don't do me thank you um it said one egg that's basically the ingredients for the jiffy it said garlic so i have two garlic cloves it says red enchilada sauce it said cream style um corn cream corn i decided that i want to add peppers and onions so i had already pre-cut some they were i had them already and then i also bought some i usually cut my own but i didn't feel like it i just wanted everything that came together so cheese it said cheddar cheese and then it said moderate jack cheese i like mozzarella cheese so i got these two so, so they also I also wanted to add stewed tomatoes and I also wanted to add pico de gallo so yeah they also said sour cream I don't have sour cream yet I'm hoping that this other store that my mother went to has sour cream because the supermarket I went to did not and I love sour cream so I'm gonna need somebody to find me some sour cream or this is not gonna work out but oh and I can't forget because I'm surely not vegetarian. I have my chicken. I'm going to take pictures of everything for you guys. But I have my chicken. I just um, cut it up. I had chicken breast, but for some reason it had bone. So I cut it off the bone. Cut all the extra disgusting stuff. And it's soaking in water and vinegar right now. Some people use lemon juice. I do not. I use vinegar. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm going to take all my seasonings out. I'm going to name them as I take them out. I have some Creole seasoning. I just started using that. Like, out of all the times that I cook, um, I honestly just started using that. And I honestly like it. I like it. It's not salty. It doesn't give me too much too little um <coughs> and, okay so i have some goya it's like an all-purpose seasoning basically a total seasoning creole i have more in season salt garlic and pepper seasoning some paprika <coughs> i don't know why i'm choking some black pepper and then i have a pack of sarsone i don't really like this sarsone because i don't i don't like um <coughs> i'm really choking right now like it's really it's really crazy let me get a, a sip of water um, I don't know, like, I feel like 
the light pack is better it has it feel like it has more to me like it has the garlic it has the um i believe it has onion in it it just has more to me so ones i had from before these are the new okay, ones guys, so the first um sorry i don't want to get copyrighted the first step was to basically do your cornbread mix so it said use your one box it said use your one egg half a cup of sour cream but because i don't have a lot of sour cream and i also don't know how that's gonna taste i really want my sour cream like as a topping i did one fourth cup and then i was also confused because with jiffy mix you have to use milk i don't know if the sour cream substitutes for the milk but i did um basically one fourth cup of sour cream and then one fourth cup of milk so i did half and half then it said i read in the comments that it tasted better if you use the full can of cream corn so i tested it i waited they said that basically the cornbread mix was basically still too rough and it was it was too thick so i did end up using the whole can of cream corn just for a thinner consistency but also like it's still not too it's not too thin it's not too thin where it's like soupy but it's it's good to me okay i'm also gonna spray some butter in here no i should just melt some butter Ooh, that's gonna be so bad! i'm gonna melt some butter Melt some butter, cause butter make it taste better. DK4L, um, and put it in here. I'm not gonna do too much because I don't want it to be, then get too um, like watery. But I also like buttery butter. Oh well. Um, it said to grease your pan. Like I told you, they want you to bake your um cornbread first. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know because I really want the cornbread to go at the top. So I might just do that. But then, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel. I don't know. But, um, yes. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I, it said to preheat your oven to 400. So I have my oven preheating right now. I've had it on for like maybe like five ten minutes already this is garbage um butter my pan hmm, i don't really have a pan right now i'm not sure which pan i'm gonna use but i'm gonna figure it out um what else did i do yeah that's about it your egg your sour cream your mix um i forget your cream corn remember the recipe called for half a can. I used the whole can. So this is my mix. My cornbread mix. Looks very good. I'm going to add just like, this is like a tablespoon. Don't mind the dishes in the back. Guys, so I'm going to follow the directions. I'm not going to be stubborn. So here I have my veggies cooking. They smell really good actually. It said to add your, um, cook your veggies for five minutes. Then add your garlic and cook until it's tender. I um, cut up my garlic and added it all in here. So I'm going to let this just cook until it's soft. And I'm going to prepare my um, cornbread to go into the oven. So I'll be back. My enchilada sauce with my um, sauce for my... The juice from the chicken that had the stewed tomatoes. I'm going to just try to get get it out the best I can my cornbread is done you said to it said to bake on 400 for 20 minutes I did 15 because it has to go back in the oven I don't want any hard cornbread so it says to poke holes on the entire surface of your cornbread pour your enchilada sauce top with your your meat and your cheese I'll be back when it that's says done. to put it in the oven for 20 minutes and cover it with foil so the cheese can get melty and then boil it for five minutes so the cheese can basically like you know how it gets like 
darker a little bit. Not burnt. Don't burn it. But I'm going to check it in 10 minutes, see how it's looking, because I don't want to overbake this, like I said. And I'll be this back. This is it before I broil it. Um, stop the timer. So, yeah. Let's see. I think we got a winner here. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys try this recipe. And I hope you guys like this more visual type of thing. I have a tripod now. So I will be coming out with more videos. More visuals. More. So you can interact with me. Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And I'll be back with another video soon. Bye guys. Thank you.